Thank you for viewing this rapid recovery presentation on adding a DVM repository. My name is Stephen Kuh and I'm a technical product specialist. To begin you must have admin access to the machine on which you're going to create the DVM repository. This repository type requires a minimum of 150 gigabytes of storage space available and the storage location for the DVM repository should be on a local drive attached to the core server. Let's begin by going to the icon panel and selecting the more pull down menu and selecting repositories. Click on add new repository. Select add storage location and you'll need to enter the data path and metadata path. I haven't created one yet so we'll go ahead and create a folder for the repository. Once the folder has been created I'll take the path and copy it into the data path and metadata path fields and this demonstration will keep it the same and then I'll check in how much free space I have in this directory or in this volume. You also have the option to add a file on the SIF share, but it's recommended to use a local disk. Also you could click on more details for some more configuration options. We'll keep it at default and save this. Once the storage location has been verified, you can review your settings. I'm going to rename the repository here and click on create. Afterwards you can click on the events icon and watch the progress of the DVM creation. Here you can see that it has been created. I'm going to close this and then we'll go back to the repository screen by selecting more and repositories and you can see your DVM repository here. To learn more about Rapid Recovery, please visit us at support.quest.com.